Hello everyone. Welcome back with another video lecture on veterinary protozoology. In this lecture, I'm gonna discuss avian trichomoniasis or canker. First, I will highlight the causal agent of avian trichomoniasis and its morphological features. Then I will discuss the transmission, pathogenic significance and clinical sign of avian trichomoniasis. Finally, I will highlight the diagnosis and treatment of this disease. Follow my channel's playlist to get more video lecture on different topics related to veterinary parasitology. Stay connected with the channel BatMed Lectures to get more video lecture related to different subjects of veterinary medicine. So, let's get started. Avian trichomoniasis is caused by a single cell protozoan known as Trichomonas galeni. Pigeons and doves are most frequently affected by this protozoan parasite. The infection is commonly found in falcon, hawks, and owls. Different other birds, such as songbirds, pheasants, quails, waterfowls, chicken, turkey, etc., can also be infected. Trichomonas galeni is found everywhere in the world where pigeon and doves are found. That is, the distribution of this organism is worldwide. However, the disease is commonly known as canca in case of pigeon and doves and frowns in case of raptors. Morphological features of Trichomonas galeni it is pyriform in shape. There are four anterior flagella and one undulating membrane. The undulating membrane doesn't terminate to the trailing flagellum. Exostyle is narrow and it protrudes from the body. Transmission of avian trichomoniasis or canker. There is no cyst or resistance stages of this parasite passed in the feces like other intestinal protozoal infection. So, the most common way of transmission of this disease is through pigeon milk or crop milk. If the parents are affected, the squab will also be affected during feeding. As adult recovered birds remain as asymptomatic carriers, they act as the source of infection for other birds. They can contaminate the bird feeders and bird birds and transmit the infection to other birds. It has been reported that Trichomonas galeni can survive in water for 20 minutes to several hours. Infection can also be transmitted through bill during courtship. Pigeons that feed with the domestic poultry are often blamed for contamination of the feed and water, passing the infection to the poultry. Wild pigeons and other birds have the role to introduce the infection to domestic birds. Wild birds such as raptors can be infected if they prey or feed on infected dead birds. Pathogenic Significance of Avian Trichomoniasis or Canker The severity and development of the lesion varies with the virulence of the strains of this parasite, the stages of infection, and the age of the host. It is reported that 80-90% of the adult physicians are infected but do not show any clinical signs. It is assumed that most of these birds become immune to the exposure of virulent strains. Usually, young pigeons are mostly suffered and get the infection from the adults during feeding the pigeon milk. The resulting infection may range from asymptomatic or mild disease to rapidly fatal form of this disease. The affected squab die within 4 to 18 days of infection. As mentioned earlier, if the birds are infected with a virulent strain such as JB strain, the severity of the infection would be higher. Within 3 to 4 days post-infection, 
cream to yellowish circumscribed area start, start to appear in the mouth cavity, especially on the soft palate. This lesion increases in size and number and extend to esophagus, crop, and proventriculus. Later, this lesion becomes thick, caseous, and yellow necrotic masses develop in the mouth cavity, which is the characteristics of acute disease. Heart cheesy lesions are also seen more in chronic infection. A bird will strive when these masses prevent it, prevent it from swallowing food and water. This large lesion further invade the roof of the mouth and sinuses and even penetrate through the base of the skull into the brain. Trichomonas galeni may invade the pharyngeal gland and surrounding underlying tissues and reach to the liver. Other organs such as lungs can also be infected. In severe infection, birds may die due to liver abscess. Remember, the digestive tract below the proventriculus is rarely involved. In Turkey, lesions most commonly occur in the crop esophagus, and pharynx, and are less commonly found in the oral cavity. Liver lesion in Turkey are more or less similar to histomoniasis. In trichomoniasis, the necrotic lesion in the liver are irregular outlines with more raised above the liver surface but not depressed as seen in histomoniasis or blackhead disease of Turkey. Clinical sign of avian trichomoniasis or canker. Due to the development of oral lesions, the affected birds unable to ingest the food. Lesions in the mouth and esophagus or both prevent the passage of ingested grain seeds which causes regurgitation of the foods. Affected birds show sign of depression with ruffled feathers and later they become weak and emaciated. Greenish fluid accumulation with caseous or cheesy material may be seen in the mouth and crop. This material may be seen around the beak and eyes and may be confused with avian pox. Severely infected pigeons may fall over when they are forced to move. So, along with these signs, examination of the oral cavity must be done for the oral lesions that I am going to talk in the diagnostic section. Usually no signs are observed for adult pigeons. In turkey poles and chicken, drowsiness and pendulous crop are common. Foul odors can also be found during examination. Diagnosis of avian trichomoniasis or canker. Clinical signs may help in the diagnosis of this disease that I have already discussed. Caseous obstructive lesion during examination of the oral cavity may confirm the disease. Note that this disease must be differentiated with pox virus infection, chlamydiosis, because similar types of lesions are observed. In postmortem examination, yellowish to grayish necrotic lesions are evident in the mouth, crop, and esophagus. Laboratory examination of oral swab revealed the live organism moving on the microscopic field. Treatment of avian trichomoniasis or canker. Furazolidone, carnidazole, metronidazole, dimetridazole can be given. The same drugs can also be used to treat the asymptomatic carrier birds to prevent the infection. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer. And good luck for your study. I'll catch you in the next lesson.